Hi folks, today I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube playlist. So once you log on to YouTube, make sure you're signed into your account. So once you see your little picture up there, you know you're good to go. Then you're going to, once you find your YouTube video, you are going to go and scroll below the, the video itself and click this little add button. You're going to click the add button and most likely you're going to create a new playlist. I am going to make it unlisted, meaning only anyone with the link can edit. Then I'm going to edit the name and I'm going to call it TED Talks. Then I will hit the create button. Now I've added a playlist. Now where do you go to find your playlist? Well in the upper left hand corner there's a drop down menu. This drop down menu is going to link immediately to your library. So here I just created the library, the TED Talks. And now I've got uh, my playlist right here, but I'm going to click the edit button. The edit button is going to allow me to, uh, to reorder. If I had several different videos, I can reorder the list. I can play all. I can edit the playlist settings, which will allow me to edit if it's private or not. I can also add collaborators. Collaborators can add videos to this playlist, which is great if you and a group of colleagues are working together to create a playlist for a specific class. For example, if you were teaching in Algebra 2 with Trig class, you might want to create a playlist of Khan Academy videos that you, can, you and your colleagues can share with your students. So that would be a reason to, to add collaborators. I can also invite collaborators um, via a link. So I can copy this link and I can send that to my colleagues, which is really, really nice. I can also share directly. So not only can I share um, the playlist by a, a variety of different ways, I can email my colleagues so I can add people directly. So I could tar type in uh, blam at d155.org. Um, and that would then I could send this to Barb and then she would have that as well. So all of these are great options for you to create a playlist of great videos, quality material for your students for your variety of subject, subjects and disciplines. If you have any questions, let me know.